Ah, a beautiful warm wind has been going on for the last three days, melting all of our snow. This is very usual for us at this time of the year. Uh, normally January, February, uh, very, very bitter cold with warm spells such as this that come in and melt all the snow. And I thought, hey, why not take out my K5 Blazer? This is actually a Trail Finder 2 that this Blazer body is mounted to. It's a hard body. Uh, and get out to the obstacle course we have in the back here because a lot of the snow being gone has exposed a lot of it and I can have some fun again. <laughs> so I figured we might as well start off with the uh, twisted teeter-totter. It's one of the hardest things to do. Uh, traction is an issue, especially at this time of year, but we'll see how the blazer does. I don't have a sound kit in it. I did, but I uh, took it out because it was malfunctioning. I am running a 3S LiPo on a Tekken T8 motor. That's a 2050 KV with an RX8 ESC on the inside. Side. Let's go. All lined up, ready for the teeter-totter. The approach has always been the challenging uh, part with this teeter-totter because the boards are twisted from weathering, which is actually a great challenge. This is a very nose-heavy truck, so I'm going to try to balance the teeter-totter so we don't get a bunch of slap back. Here we go. I do have a counterweight chain on the other side. Depending on the vehicle that's here though, it can be a challenge. Here we go, that drag brake allowing it to creep down. Barely any throttle. Oh, I'm sliding a bit. It's on quite an angle. Landing straight on the side hill area. Oh yeah! So this is a side hill ramp uh, that's tested to see how your suspension is set up. If you have a soft suspension and a very heavy top body, it actually makes you roll. Now here is a big challenge right away. Oh yeah! I got lucky there. Nice. Don't want to wreck such a beautiful bod. Okay, so coming down the ramp, I have two choices of different ramps. Two different styles of truck can attempt this, two different widths of truck. If you have a very narrow wheelbase, this area was built, uh, and a wider one, of course, to test articulation with a bunch of round obstacles on it, which really causes a lot of tire slip if you have muddy tires. I'm gonna choose the yellow side today because I really like the offset articulation here. This is another suspension test to see how you're set up. Nothing you know too scientific just op opposite boards opposite uh, types of twisting for your frame to get up to the top platform so I'll start my ascent lining up the tires one on either side nice and slow I'm not in a speed contest here here we go with the first rise which is actually twisting the front of the truck Oh, want a nice soft suspension to flex with it, but not too firm. I am running leaf springs in the front, soft ones too. Very nice. And up we go. So now I have to do a sharp left, go down the ramp with all the uh, logs and stone obstacles on here. A little dark today, especially in the trees, but you guys get the get the idea of a backyard scale track. Not so scale, I guess, but uh, <laughs> use what you have. I used old tires and pallets and everything uh, last year. In fact, I was even doing a video about how we built this at the end of last season. Uh, but let's get the truck down the ramp here. I always love the art of the slow crawl, trying to get that suspension to look like a full-size truck. The tires I've chosen for today's run are my actual uh, stock tires from the Komodo. Uh, that's another scale truck I have made by G-Made. They've got a very nice aggressive tread on them, as well as the uh, beadlocks they're on are plastic, so they're nice and light. Look at this. Quite a twist I've got going on here. No matter, we'll get her. 
Just looking at my axle placement, so each tire plus the inside differential housing. Let's back up out of here. Beautiful. bit of wheel speed will help me out. There we go. Just loving the weather today. It's a beautiful day to be outside. Enjoying the hobby of RC, of course. I'm stuck in a hole, I've dug a big rut there. But, can I drive out of it? Notice that I've actually, uh, well maybe you can't because of the shadows, I've actually, you can see the end here, I've cut the runners so they're not so long and they don't hang up as much. And they're still as scale as possible, being a step for beside the door. Power. That's what it gets you. <laughs> Another try, please. back and forth to see if I can get some slow traction. I cannot. Back up. Maybe I can get a good hop. Oh, riding the side here. Oh, this could be a good thing. Oh, and I slid right into it. I got greedy. What I'm trying to do is turn left to get a little bit of traction and see if I can get that uh, back tire to hook up. Oh, and now I'm in a rut again. Oh yeah, I got it, at least I'm up. <laughs> it's great that I was able to get to there, but now I'm really stuck. <laughs> I'm gonna have to back up and see if I can somehow work my way around. Nice, good turning. Oh no! Oh, stuck in a rut. When we built this, we didn't want it to be easy. If it was easy, it would be kind of be boring, you know, if you could do it all the time. I wanted some challenge to try and improve my driving. Yeah, getting a good bounce going on. <laughs> He's happy to be outside riding. Come on, let's wheel your way up. Back up a little bit, up onto the rock. Yeah, and then up and around, bud. There we go. Up and over. Oh, the final rock. I've lost some traction because of the snow. <laughs> some of the dirt has been taken away. Let's back up a tad. Let's bounce over the rock. Got it. There we go. Just a little throttle, my bad. Still rolling on drag brake. There we go, perfectly done. Let's see if I can pull this off on the first attempt, or even at all. <laughs> here we go, big angle, slippery pieces of wood. Not a lot of traction here. It looks like I'm gonna be sliding off if I go further, so quick back up. Gonna try to wheel speed and hop up onto it without falling. Nope, 
Glad the snow is there. Okay, let's try it again. Start on the other side so I got a bit of bounce room. Oh, got past the first one, now I'm stuck in a rut. You guys will see how we built this. It actually has built-in ruts for your tires. So if you're going up and you get stuck in that rut, you have a very hard time getting out, you can see. So wheel speed on slippery surfaces like this, you can see how tall of a climb it is. Uh, it can be very, very challenging. It'll throw you off the edge with no barrier. <laughs> Got to the second one. Have a little less room for error now. Oh, I'm starting to go off the other side. Oh, 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 into the snow. <laughs> there we go. I got a good grab there. Can he make it to the top? And he does. <laughs> oh, my hood came undone. No big deal. Pop that back into place. And there you have it. A quick rip around my backyard scale course. Hopefully some of the things you've seen here today uh, you can use for your own backyard course, right? Like a teeter-totter uh, or, you know, using some pallets to get some height where you get some dirt on it or, you know, even uh, different types of articulating boards that you can cut down uh, and make to help you test out your trucks. You know, it's a lot of fun. You can invite your friends over and have fun too. So, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in today. Hopefully you're part of the notification and subscriber squad. Uh, if you are a subscriber wondering how to be a part of the notification squad, just go ahead, look down beside the subscriber button and you should see a bell. Click that bell and you'll be notified of all of our new videos when they come out. That way you can stay up to date on RC adventures and of course, see all the neat ideas that we're able to come up with. Thanks a lot for tuning in guys and we'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventures. Now get outside and have some fun with RC. Can't that thing go any faster?